Even as the Federation is looking to loosen COVID-19 restrictions and return to a level of normalcy, the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, is warning Caribbean countries not to free up too soon. In a recent media conference, head of PAHO, Dr. Carissa Etienne, advised against opening up the economy too soon, which could lead to spike in COVID cases and endanger public health. In the Caribbean, infections are also going up. Cuba reported the highest number of weekly cases since the start of the pandemic, and cases have tripled in the British Virgin Islands just weeks after reopening to cruise ships. Meanwhile, South America is reporting a mixed picture. COVID infections, hospitalizations, and deaths are dropping across most of the continent, including in Brazil, Peru, Uruguay, and Chile. However, infections are once again mounting in Argentina and in Colombia. And they are reaching their highest ever levels, raising concerns about the health system's ability to cope as 98% of ICU beds are already in use. Cases rise when complacency sets in. We are all tired, but after experiencing successive peaks of infections in the same locations, we must break the cycle by embracing public health measures early and consistently. When variants of concern circulate, it's even more important that countries step up surveillance, especially while vaccine coverage remains low. The St. Kitts and Nevis Ministry of Health is reporting a drastic recovery rate with just over 64 active cases at the start of the week. That is a reduction from 505 active cases to 64 in 60 days. Since the announcement of the re-emergence of the virus and community spread in mid-May, the country has recorded 505 cases in 60 days, with 438 recovered cases and three deaths. 88% of all confirmed cases have recovered, the ministry said. But with the Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws disclosing that the Lambda variant of the COVID-19 virus is present in St. Kitts and Nevis, proving to be more transmissible than the previous strain of the virus, there are concerns that any loosening up of COVID measures prematurely could lead to a further spike in cases. A nightly curfew is in place from 9 p.m. of each day until 5 a.m. of the following day, which started on Monday, the 12th of July, at 9.01 p.m. and will end at 5 a.m. on Monday, July 26th, until new regulations are instituted. I'm Andre Huey reporting for SKN Newsline.